and you want to make sure you have it plugged in and when you power it on you want to tap or hold down the zero button the zero button here as you're turning it on so I'm holding down the zero all right and then immediately it's going to take you to the hard drive uh, partition the hard drive recovery process has been selected please choose yes and I'll hit enter and of course you want to want to do this to get it back to factory state you know how it came out of the box again it's going to wipe out all your videos all your pictures and just give you with the raw operating system that was originally put on it so if you have pictures or videos you want to get that off first um, if you can't do it hopefully you have a recovery image or um, well you'll have to get your hard drive repaired which is not easy And it takes a few seconds. Choose your your computer layout. We're in the U.S. here, and it gives you some options here. Now you can um, that's if use this device as if you already did do a recovery image when you created or when you first got the computer. But what you're going to do with us, if you want to do a full factory, you're going to go to troubleshoot, click that, and reset your PC. If you want to remove all your files, you can reset your PC completely. And you hit enter. And then it says, here's what will happen. All your personal files and apps will be removed. Your PC settings will be changed back through to the default. And you click next. And that's pretty much it. That takes about 30 minutes. And if you get connected online while you're doing it, like on your Wi-Fi or whatever, um, it'll download all the Windows updates that you don't you know have on the hard drive itself with that version so hope that video helps and enjoy